What's going on, everybody? This is Matt, a.k.a. the Lumberjack Landlord. Just actually was uh, sitting down after putting my kids to bed and uh, watched a ReVenture Consulting video and absolutely made my blood boil. So I had to do a reaction video to that absolute lunacy that he is putting on his channel. So ReVenture Consulting just basically tried to draw a correlation between a home builders, the largest landlord in the country, and the fact that Open Pad and Zillow stocks are way down. Here's the correlation. Um, there isn't one. There isn't one. There's a reason why those are completely divergent. He wants to know. He asked the question, tell me why these are completely divergent. I'll tell you exactly why they're divergent. Because DR Horton is a home builder. They are meeting demand of a market. The iBuyers were flawed strategies. Why is Zillow down 43%? It's down 43% because they lost a half a billion dollars with their iBuyer program that any real estate, real real estate investor would have known right out of the gate that their model was flawed. Everyone knew that they were overpaying for properties. Zillow made the principal mistake that you make in an investing in real estate. They bet on appreciation. That's the mistake. That's the mistake. I have been doing real estate investing for over 20 years. They are wrong. We are right. At one rental at a time. Dion, talk, Dion Financial Talk. Guys, we have spent decades doing this. Decades. Over 20 years I've spent investing in real estate. It is very, very simple. It comes down to what I bought the property for. No, that doesn't matter. It comes down to what my payment is and what my return on capital is on the other side. I have 30-year fixed rate debt when I buy an asset. If I get 30-year fixed rate debt and that 30-year fixed rate debt is $1,700 a month, do rents go up over 30 years or they stay flat or they go down? Yeah, they go up. They go up. It's factual, right? And they go up far faster than my payment because my payment is a 30-year fixed payment. I normally wouldn't spend any time responding to this goofballs video. The fact of the matter is, is he called out investors. Zillow wasn't investing. Open Pat or wasn't investing. They were speculating. They're still speculators. They have their core business, uh, Zillow does, which is completely out of the realm of owning houses or being a landlord or any of that other stuff. It's truly about selling leads to realtors as realtors come in the market and they want to create a profile, then they pay for that lead flow. That's what Zillow does. That's their business. Their business for only a very short time was wasting a half a billion dollars with their bad iBuyer program because they went into the market with a bunch of these assumptions that real estate was only going to continue to go up and that it was this thing that you could figure out with an algorithm. It's not. It's not something you can figure out with an algorithm. There are way too many variables to account for that you can't figure this out with an algorithm. So ReVenture Consulting continues to go at this from a chart perspective. You are wrong. You will remain wrong because all year long, he's been calling crash, crash, crash. He's getting all the clicks, all the subs. That's great. That's fantastic. All the people that are missing out on the market increases that happened this year, quite frankly, should never watch his show again. If you are at all interested in what's actually happening in the market, watch a good show. Watch a show like mine, Lumberjack Landlord, watch One Rental at a Time, watch Dion Financial Talk, watch these kind of shows that actually are investors investing in the market and getting returns. You can't make the argument that those three at all are correlated. It's like saying the price of gold is way up, but this jewelry store collapsed and now they've diverged. The jewelry store collapsed because it probably wasn't a good operator. It had nothing to do with the price of the asset of the gold. It's the same thing with Zillow. The only time Zillow became a big loser was when they invested a bunch of money in the asset themselves and had a flawed strategy. This is all about strategy. I share my strategy, what I do day in and day out, and how I execute that strategy. If you're trying to get into real estate investing, you should be watching people that actually invest and how they invest and understand what their track record is. My track record 
is since the early 2000s, 20 years. This guy in 06, 07, and 08, my guess is he probably didn't even have his driver's license at that point. Now, at the end of the day, it just unbelievably annoys me that somebody like this would waste everyone's time jumping on and doing a video when he's completely out of his depth. He warned investors. Who is this guy to warn investors? The charts that he showed only shows how little he knows. Because again, they're completely divergent. They don't make any sense with each other. And by the way, this guy, Mr. Big Stuff, a $2,000 put bet, two grand. I spent more money last year buying trash bags. Give me a break. What a joke. So guys, do yourselves a favor. The real estate investment market is absolutely alive and well. Anytime that there's a slowdown, this is actually a good thing for real estate investors. An investor buys based on return on capital or return on their cash, their cash on cash return. A real estate speculator buys based on appreciation of the asset. I have never, ever, ever bought a building thinking, well, it's going to be up 30% next year or even 5% next year. I don't care if it goes up. It doesn't matter. The only thing that I care about is the payment that I have on a monthly basis and how much income I'm pulling in against that payment and then what that margin is. Am I making 8% of my money, 10%, 12%, 15, 20? My last five deals, the worst deal that I did in my last five makes 20% return on capital annually. The best one, 43%. So I ask you, is the market completely upside down and all us real estate investors are just stupid? We don't know how to read graphs. We understand exactly what the market's doing right now. And I can further say that ReVenture has no clue what's going on in the real estate market right now because Zillow being down 43%, their stock price was based on losing a half a billion dollars on a program that they themselves didn't understand how to run. It's the same thing with the other tech vendors in the space. It's because it's about the asset and the return on cash flow of that asset. Investors, true real estate investors, again, do not invest based on appreciation. We invest based on return on capital or yield. That's what we do this for. So like I said, normally I would never waste the time to do a video against what some guy has said, and I'm trying to just keep it tame because it absolutely makes my blood boil that guys like this are allowed to put this complete garbage out there. And then they actually have people defending them that what rent apartments because you know the housing market so well. Guys, I own almost a hundred units. It comes down to the debt structure that you have, what the payment is, and then what your return on that capital is. That's what it comes down to. If people keep on watching garbage like that and keep on listening and taking somebody else's word for what that graph actually means, you will find yourself in a very bad spot and likely completely missing out on the market. Comparing the stock market to a housing asset is completely flawed as well. Every single month I get paid and I get a return on my capital invested every single month in the form of rent. What does his stock do? it pays him nothing until he sells. Real estate pays me when I sell, but this is where these guys constantly are missing the boat. It has no difference if my asset goes down $100,000 next year. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to sell. So it truly doesn't matter. The only thing that I'm concerned about is this is what my monthly mortgage is with taxes and insurance included. And this is what my income is. Those are the only two numbers that matter. When you have a stock, especially a lot of the stocks that he talks about, they don't have dividends. So, and if they do, they're very small. So the biggest challenge that you have is when you hold that stock, your only opportunity for capital is selling the stock, expecting that it has gone up, unless you're doing his $2,000 put strategy. Like I said, spent more money on garbage bags last year. 
on, you know, when we've done uh, rehabs and burr projects. Like, so do yourselves a favor. Honestly, I don't want to get super negative, but this guy is just completely out of his depth and doesn't understand how any of these things correlate and admitted it right there in his video. There's divergence and just tell me what you think. That's what the divergence is, bro. That's what the divergence is. So consider yourself lumberjacked, you jackhole, because none of what you said in that video has any real ring of truth to it. You should not be leading and guiding investors because you aren't one. 2000 bucks on a put? Come on, give me a break. Get some rental property, recognize how the process and system works. And hey, if you need some help, watch my channel. We do a lot of stuff for free for folks and don't sell any subscription at five bucks a month, you know, try and give them the insider view. Just watch my channel. We'll help you out for free. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe and please feel free to put comments below. If you think I'm wrong, Light me up, say something, tell me that I'm wrong, but give me data, give me facts, not feelings. Because at the end of the day, every property that I buy has what it costs me on a monthly basis and has what my rents are. And you know what? Over 20 years, do you know how many times my rents were less than my mortgage? Zero. It's never happened. So again, appreciate you guys taking the opportunity to listen. 11.30 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow, we have a live stream. Look forward to your questions there. Keep it respectful, but I'm happy to give you guys answers and happy to take you guys through it because I think that if you can learn this skill and you can understand really what's going on in the real estate market and stop watching all these garbage crash and crisis videos, it's really not like that. Learn the skill, understand how to invest in property, not speculate on property, and you will find yourselves in a far stronger financial position over the coming years. Anyway, this is Matt, aka the Lumberjack Landlord, signing off. Again, please subscribe, hit that like button. And if you have a question, put it down below. Appreciate your time. Look forward to it. Reventure, just do better, man.